Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another full game commentary. In this one, I will be playing Lee Sin in the jungle, but not just any jungle, the new jungle on the PBE. So today is going to be Thursday. Usually, I like to release full game commentaries like this one that are live on Wednesdays, but I've had issues with the PBE. I couldn't get a game that I was kind of proud of or want to actually put up, so hopefully this one is okay. Now, the point of this video is for me to pretty much just play in the new jungle. I have read a lot about it, I've wrote notes about it as well, and I want to show you guys and explain to you guys everything that's new and pretty much what you can expect because the best way to kind of understand the changes and to get a feel for them is of course to really just, just kind of see it firsthand. Now, I quickly want to mention the fact that if this video, let's say, is not informative enough or for whatever reason, let's say, you want to kind of for me to make another video like a three to four to five minute let's say video that's edited where I specifically talk about the changes only rather than in a full game live kind of commentary format then tell me and I will do that for next week probably but with that being said let's go into the changes so I'll say it as the game progresses and uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that you can only start with two HP pots now with the hunter's machete that's one Another thing is the fact that Hunter's Machete now gives mana and HP back whenever you attack or uh, whenever you're in combat with monsters. Also pretty cool. Then, everyone's asking like, I'm not the real one. Oh yeah, I'm not the real one, bro. Anyway, and then you can upgrade that into four new items. Stalker's Blade, Poacher's Knife, Skirmisher's Saber, and Ranger's Trailblazer. All of these items all don't give any stats. They just give uh, slightly more uh, stats in terms of like maybe a bonus is still like an attack or something. So, for instance, this one does now 45 magic damage and heals you more, which is the same for all of them. But the main thing is the fact that uh, Smite now does... Um, has it has 60 second cooldown but those items oh my god i was like thinking i was talking but those items will upgrade your smite to make it pretty much have better effects so which is pretty cool so let me go ahead and just smite this now i guess pop one hp pot and um finish this off all right good 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 so now let's go through all the items and what they offer you so poacher's knife is a counter jungling item pretty much whenever you smite an enemy monster in the enemy's jungle the smite cooldowns reduced for that duration or for that instance and you get bonus gold and move speed now and the move speed only lasts for about like two seconds though now the next thing is stalkers uh which is a kind of counter gank or counter uh, ganking or no sorry counter jungling offensive sort of item now it's pretty good, it's probably one of my favorite ones, that one and Skirmishers. And what it can do is, you can use Smite on Champions, which is really big. Um, because, it's, I mean, you've never been able to use Smite on Champions before, so now that you can, it's just like, what? Which is pretty cool, and what it does is, let me get some shield from this tower, is whenever you Smite on Enemy Champion, you deal 10% of the Smite's total damage as true damage, which is pretty cool. And, it slows them, also pretty cool. So it kind of, you know, sets up a kill on them. The next one is Skirmishers, which is also Smiting on Enemy Champion. This one... Um, it gives a six, sec six second mark on that target. Every auto attack you do on them does some true damage to that person. And uh, it, it gives you vision of that target for the six seconds. And you take reduced damage from that target as well. I think it's 20% or so. Also pretty cool. Let me go ahead and just, I'll just walk around. Next one is called Rangers. This is kind of what the farm heavy oriented one. So if you're like playing Nocturne, let's say, you know, you want to just chill in your jungle and just keep farming most of the game, that's what you want to get. And what that one does is, it overall just reduces the smite cooldown by I think 20 seconds. And it does AoE damage to the monster that you activate it on. So let's say I use it on the race over here, it'll do damage to this one and it'll do like half damage to the small ones around it. It'll stun them as well and it'll restore you HP and mana, therefore obviously giving you just more sustain overall. So now, I personally want to go skirmishers i think i want to try skirmishers i've tried the other one before the other uh it's called stalkers i've tried that one pretty cool but i really want to try this one out so i want to see how this one works and then on top of that you can actually upgrade these items into one more tier which is kind of like the way you upgrade boosts you know to like home guard or whatever alacrity or whatever and that gives them bonus stats there's four of them one of them is called Devourer, which just gives you attack speed and magic damage on hit. And that magic damage on hit is very similar to Feral Flare because it stacks up as you get assists and kills in the jungle. Pretty much Feral Flare, let's just leave it at that. Then you have something called Warrior, which just gives you AD, CDR, and Armor Pencil, like a Duelist sort of thing. Another one gives you AP and CDR, it's called Magus, which is for obviously like AP-oriented junglers, like maybe an Elise or something. And then you have... Uh, Juggernaut, which is the tanky version, so that gives you HP, CDR, and tenacity. Which is pretty cool, so you can kind of upgrade them, you know, they don't really scale off and the items will be useful a lot of times. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not gonna smite this one because I wanna use smite on the big one, the big wraith thing after, and I'll tell you guys in a bit why I do that. Because it's actually a good reason. So now, smiting. 
is a lot better now. The reason it's better is because whenever you smite a certain camp, it'll actually give you different uh, bonuses. Whoa. Okay, well, I don't know about that. Never mind. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this then. I'm gonna smite it early because it actually gives you buffs. So let's talk about what happens when you smite certain camps. If you smite this one, you actually get a shield on yourself. You can see right here. Attackers are poisoned for 30 magic damage over 3 seconds. It's a buff. If I smite blue, it gives me mana back. If I smite the wolf, doesn't matter if I get this my kills it or not, just as long as I smite it. It'll make a little ghost that kind of chills around this area to watch blue buff. If I smite these birds over here, or the wraiths, it'll give me a buff that'll let me see the next ward that I pass by, and it'll give me true vision so I can destroy it. Which is also pretty cool. Okay, I think I have to do this actually. If I smite the red buff, it'll give me a lot of HP, which is also pretty cool. And if I were to smite these guys right here, it'll give me a buff that whenever I attack jungle monsters, it'll actually stun them, the first and fifth auto attack. Also pretty cool. Alright. So that's how that works. And uh, pretty neat. I mean, it gives a lot more playability to smite. There's a lot more things you can kind of like do with it, which is really nice. I like that a lot. So let me go ahead and pick up boots. And I think I want to start working towards a Tiamat. I like Tiamat on Lee Even if I'm jungling, I like to get Tiamat. I'm not really sure why. I just do. Now I feel like I should start playing a little more aggressive. I feel like I should start invading, especially considering I have smite for that. Oh um, my god, this guy's probably not dead actually. Well, she's level 2? Is she like DC for a bit? I'm not really sure. But I'm walking up, let's go. See, now when I come in for the gank, I can actually smite them and I'll put this debuff on them, which will do a 6 second mark on them. It'll deal uh, 30 true damage whenever I hit them. Grammy vision and I take reduced damage. Oh, she flashed, okay. Oh well, that's fine. So I actually used my smite on her, and it didn't do that much damage. I mean, actually, I don't think it does any damage initially, right? It's all about the auto-attacking damage, yeah. I want to try I don't know if it's better or not. Oh, let's say the Kalista got this. So you guys might be wondering, just what the hell is that, right? Well, it's actually a new spawn, a new kind of jungle monster that walks around both of the rivers. It's called the Scuttle Crab, and it's really good. The reason it's good is because, first of all, I mean, it's a little tanky, so it's hard to kill. And it runs away whenever you attack it. But whenever you do kill it, it gives you some HP back and I think some mana back. But the good thing about it is the fact that when you kill it, it actually spawns, like you saw there, like this, around the area that you kill it. So whether it's Baron or Dragon. First of all, it gives you vision of that area for your team for 90 seconds, which is just huge. And whenever your team passes by it, they get a move speed buff. So, I mean, ganking and all that stuff makes it a lot easier with it. So, I mean, it's really neat. Ooh. I don't know why I have vision of this, but... Okay. Boom, baby. Okay, now I have this. I, don't, I feel like I should not be here right now. I feel like I should peace out. Alright. I want to kill it just so I can get the timer on it. I'm not sure why he's level... Okay, he's level 3. I'm not really sure why he's level 3. He seems to be in the game most of the time. But, um... Anyway, what I was actually going to do there is what you can do when you counter jungle is you can actually smite the enemy's walls. And it'll give you that little spirit thing that I was talking about. I should do it right now. No, I can't do it right now. I'll get blue buff and then I'll do it. I'll show you guys how the spirit thing looks like, and it just watches over blue buff, which is really cool. And you can use that to use it on the enemy jungler too, so you can see when they're doing it, which is really, really neat. Alright, so we go ahead and kill this one fast, hopefully. Boom, boom. Almost. One more E should do it. Auto attack E. Wow, it's not that E serious. Alright, let me do it. Let me show you guys how it looks like. Bam. Bam. Alright, smite it and then watch. See, look at, look, look at that spear walking. Do you see that thing? Look at that. And it just chills there. And I think when an enemy walks by it, it, I'm not sure if it does damage to them or not, but I just know that it watches the blue buff. I can't, I can't exactly remember how it works, but that's kind of what it does. So I really want to kill the scuttle crab, but my red buff is up, so I kind of want to get that first. So let's go ahead and do that. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is going to be Dragon. Dragon is completely different now. It doesn't give global uh, gold anymore. And its auto attacks are apparently AoE now. Wait, did, I, did I just see a ward drop down? No, I don't think I did. Okay, this thing I might actually not be able to kill. I don't think I can kill it. I don't have smite. I need I need smite so I can smite it and get some HP back, but I don't have anything to do that right now. Are you kidding me? Real? Okay, there's no way. Okay, good. So I'm back and I'll then come back and, I don't know, try getting that, I guess. So let's talk about Dragon. Dragon is completely different. And it's a, in a good way, I would say. It's a lot more interesting. It feels more like an MMO, even. The way it works now is... You get a buff for your whole team based on how many times you kill dragon, maximum of 5 times. After that, it'll just give you the same buff. 
which is uh, very interesting. So the way it works is now like this. Whenever you, first of all, whenever you kill Dragon the first time, the second time you try killing him, he'll be tougher for your team only. So he'll take reduced damage from your team and he'll do bonus damage to your team. And that'll stack uh, with each kill that you have on him. So like by the time you try killing him the fifth time, he'll be a lot harder to kill. The first kill will give your team an 8% AP and AD bonus buff. The second kill will give you and your team a buff that will give you 15% damage to monsters and minions. And I'm pretty sure that the previous buff stays. Um, the next, the third kill will give you, you and your team 5% move speed. Uh, fourth kill will give your team 15% five, damage to buildings and towers, which is great for pushing. And then the last one will give uh, your team a double of bonuses, or double to all the other bonuses. So the first four, it'll just double it for 180 seconds. And your attacks will deal 150 true damage to champions over 3 seconds, which is pretty huge. Oh my god. She has Ignite. Oh my god. She still had Ignite? Well, that was bad. Alright, that did not work out at all. Why? What the hell? How does that die when she still has Ignite? That's not good. That is not good at all, actually. But whatever. Anyway, what I was talking about, I was talking about dragons. That's pretty much how dragon works now. Pretty interesting. And uh, next thing, let's talk about Baron. Also a little different. Not, not not immensely different, but it is different. I mean, Baron obviously got reworked. He looks completely different now. But the buff still gets 40 AP and AD. But now, whenever you have Baron buff, it reduces your cooldown. Or sorry, the recall cooldown. So you can recall to your base in half the time. So four seconds. Or three and a half if you have the improved the recall thing. Uh, summoners or uh, Mastery. Then, the big thing actually is the fact that now, whenever you have Baron buff and you just had minions, it gives your minions in the lane bonuses, which makes pushing just so much better. And here are the bonuses. The melee minions get 80% damage reduction from almost all damage, damage types. The ranged minions increase the damage and a minor range increase. Siege minions, huge range increase. They can even outrange the towers with the range they have, but their auto attacks are slower. However, they do four times more damage to towers. And then super minions now have 75% move speed buff and a 25% attack speed buff. So, you gotta say, it's pretty big. And then the last thing I want to talk about to you, with you guys is towers. Towers are a little different. Now, the first tower is the same. The second tower now gives a shield on itself and nearby minions or al allies whenever they haven't took damage for uh, X amount of time. And the last one, which is this one here, will shoot a laser. And these two right here, they will shoot lasers, which actually do a lot of consecutive damage. I, know, I feel like you should ram, but whatever. Let me go ahead and see us to supper here. So yeah, the la the last towers, uh, the Nexus towers, and oh god. Oof! I'm piecing out of here, man. I don't want anything to do with that Ari right now. I'm actually gonna kill the Skull Crab. That's what I'm gonna do. See, it keeps running away. I hope the Ari doesn't see me doing this. Okay, good. See, the Skull Crab it keeps running. But whenever you slow it, apparently it does uh, it does uh, more damage to it. Can I smite it too? Yeah, I can. Okay. So smiting it, I don't think it does anything. And I don't think I should have smited it, considering that blue buff is up. But it's okay. Alright. I feel like I shouldn't have even got this blade that gives me this smite on champions thing. I feel like I'm not been using, I've not been using it at all to its effectiveness. But it's all good, I guess. So I have enough for TM now, so let's go ahead and get that quickly. And that's pretty much all I want to talk to you guys. That's mainly the changes other than, of course, the Summoner's Rift update overall. A lot of the minions, or monsters rather, look different. And the minions too, I guess, they look a little different. And um, I'm actually going to wait for 675 gold because I want these Swiftness Boots, which is uh, pretty useful. I don't like getting plus 5 boots on Lee Sin sometimes because I usually get Sunfire on Lee Sin. And if you have Sunfire and plus 5 boots, that kind of... They they, they counteract each other a little bit since every time you walk by minions, Sunfire will proc on them. And then that'll just deactivate your extra move speed that you get in your plus five boots so you don't want to do that all right so now let's go back well what is this why does it do that now whoa that's weird I've, that's so interesting why does it put it there i can't click on it though but why is it there that's, i don't see the point of it being there i guess just to remind you maybe a bit easier i guess that's about it i don't see why else it would be there okay, i think it's that monster okay, i'll give it some. i think we should do dragon let's do dragon we should do dragon. Oh, you can't pull it out anymore? Alright, you can. Okay, my team does not, does not want to do dragon. Okay, team. Fine, no dragon. Alright, if you guys are going to be like that, that's cool too, I guess. 
What happens if you try pulling the scuttle crab like with Blitzrank? Does it actually pull? Alright. So now see it's gonna spawn here and it's gonna give us a little shrine that gives us move speed. Pretty neat. It's actually uh, warded, but I guess that doesn't matter too much. But I got 570 damage on my smite. Oh man. Oh boy. I should probably run. Yeah, I think they got the dragon too, which is a little unfortunate. I should have smited the dragon. I don't know why I'm not using my smite. I gotta say, I'm not very used to it being able to be used on champions, just because that's it's so new, right? That it's like almost unheard of. But the fact that you can now is just something you really need to kind of get used to. But that's okay. So I actually kind of feel like getting uh, just this part right here because, well, I should not. I feel like getting a banshee overall. I feel like banshees is just a super good item, super useful. Alright, so, the Kalisa used their ultimate. What the hell happened there? That was weird. That was actually pretty interesting. I'm not sure what happened there, but I'm going to go ahead and get my red buff. I'm going to probably smite it. Well, we'll see how I go. How I do with it. Alright, so let me go ahead and pull this out a little bit here. It looks like their Fiora is doing pretty well against that red on top, which is good. Yeah, I'm probably going to smite it. It's just taking way too long. This thing is tanky, man. My goodness. So I like how it shows the HP of the minion now on top of them. So it's pretty cool. So you can have like a lot easier time to smite it. You don't always have to click on it and like stare at its HP at the little top left screen or a border thing. Which is pretty annoying. So now you can just kind of look at it right there. Oh, got the Ari. I'm probably just going to run. I don't want to have anything to do with this Ari. My god, I'm dead. Alright, never mind. She got the charm on me and I am dead. Dead man, Ari is. I think Ari is like one of the best APs right now. She's just absolutely ridiculously strong. Even with those items, I mean, she, her items aren't even that good. I mean, she is seven three, but just having that one item that really gives her anything, she's able to do that much damage. It's because of the charm, though. Her charm does a lot. What is that? Oh, she has Dragon Slayer, right? Of course, they have eight percent AP and AD now, which is huge. We need Dragon. See, like Dragon is so much more important now. I feel like because the buffs that it gives for your team are just immense. But this is kind of why I decided to get. Okay, I can't even get it right now. That sucks. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this and award. But that's why I said that the buffs now are, or uh, that, that's why I said I want to get that MR item, this one right here, because Ari is just really strong, and I kind of want to make sure I'm a little more durable against her. All right, so those are all the changes. Now I want to try focusing a bit more in the game because we're actually losing. Zed is not doing so hot against this Ari. And our Thresh is zero four. That's interesting. And that's interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna smite it. And then probably head my way, make my way mid. But if I get charm right here, I'm dead. Okay, luckily they're not here. All right, bam, bam, auto attack, auto attack. Get all this going. All right. Auto attack all of these little birdie birds because we don't want them alive. We don't want these birds alive. Get that down. And the ribbon is mid. Do I want to do anything about this ribbon? I don't think I can. I mean, I do have this smite in 20 seconds. But, I'm not really sure what I can do about that. I'm just going to not, whatever. I'll, you know what? I'll give him his farm. I'll go bottom. The Zed's already behind. I don't want to take his farm right now. I don't feel like that's a good thing to do. But I'm going to make my way bottom. And hopefully we can make a play. I'm walking boy. I don't know if that thing can see me. Oh my god, I couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. Could not get it. The Zed can probably clean it up though, I hope. Come on, okay, he's just enough. Wow, what the fuck? Alright. Alright. Man, I couldn't get the grace. The second I used my ult on him to try and follow up with the Q. What? Come on, that one. You should know that's not gonna reach. But the second I used my ultimate on Graves to uh, follow up with my Q, the Blitzcrank actually knocked me up. Alright, thank you. And I couldn't follow up, which was a little sucky. I must say, I did not play that as well as I probably should have. Man, I am not doing so hot right now. It's actually so difficult to play when I'm talking about so much information at the same time. It's not that easy. I gotta say, I, I've had to try recording this like two times because it's just so difficult to talk about all this information while trying to actually focus on the game and not go too behind. Okay, let me see if I can wait for this. Is that still how it's ultimate? Alright, I'm taking that one. I need my KDA to look a little bit better. 
Because right now it doesn't look all that good. I'm going to smite this first because I want the buff. And the buff will actually apply to these guys, I think, right? Or is it just champions? I can't remember. Uh... Oh no, this is not the buff. Sorry, this is... I got to mix... Uh, confused with this one here. This is the one that gives you a stun. And if I can actually cancel this buff whenever I attack a tower. And it'll do bonus damage to the tower, but then it'll just remove the buff off of me. Oh, this Ari is just doing work. Hopefully this Fiora can handle the Ari. Fiora is pretty strong. She's doing... Well, she's 4-3, but she's got quite a bit of items. She's got a BF sword and the Hydra, so... If she ults the Ari, she'll actually do a lot of damage. But now, I want to see how much damage this little uh, thing can do to this tower. Oh, I did actually quite a bit. You see, now the buff is gone. I don't have the buff anymore. But it did do quite a bit of damage to it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm piecing out. I don't want anything to do with that right now. I'm actually going to check if their blue buff is up. I have a smi my smite now. Oh god, this is dead. Oh man. Is he dead? Put a ward here, I guess, but I don't see what that's going to do. Pretty sure the Ari is around there too. Oh, there's a lot of people around here, actually. We should probably just peace out. I'm going to go ahead and farm this wave right here. Very, very quickly. Boom, boom, boom. I'll attack that, and now I want to peace out. Why did it say Taunty in the chat just now? I just said Taunty, and I have literally no idea why I said that. Oh wow, the Graves found him. Okay, they might actually come and try and get me here. Oh boy. I think I'm good though. I think I'm good. No, we're good. We're good. We good. We Gucci. Yeah, I'm going to get the Benchy's Veil now. I really want it. I'm pretty sure they're taking my red though, so that's not good. What I thought, also, I should be upgrading this item to probably this right here. Actually, no, I want this. I want the tenacity. I want to get this. What do I need to get that? I need 1100 gold. Okay, I almost got that, so I want to go ahead and save for that now. Oh god, they're doing dragon. If they get that dragon, that's bad. That is not good because they'll have the second buff of it, and that's pretty strong. Make my way down here, see if I can maybe insect someone. Probably not though, because I suck at this game, but. Seven twenty. Got it. Whatever. I don't want to risk the lantern. I don't know how long that would take or take rather. But I got the I got the dragon, which is good. So now we have that little buff on dragon. You can see right here plus eight percent attack damage and ability power. Really good. Do not want them to have it because if they got that one, they would have had plus fifteen percent damage to minster um oh, oh, minsters, minions and monsters, which I don't want them to have. I'm actually gonna finish this now. I want that tenacity, and I want that HP because all I want for damage is uh, Tiamat. I'm probably gonna get the Hydra soon as well after the Banshees. That's the only damage item I like to get on Lee Sin. Maybe a Last Whisper when I'm playing Jungle Lee Sin too. I'm not sure, but that's about it. Everything, everything else I get after that. I just want to be tanky. Wow, they didn't even clear. That's pretty BM. Nowadays, I feel like clearing it is actually better because you get the jungle uh, jungle timer, but we don't have the jungle timer, and you can just come back again when it spawns, and you can just take it again. I don't know. I usually feel like clearing it nowadays is a lot better than just leaving one little thing up like that. But that's just me, I guess. I don't know. <clears throat> See if we can make a place somehow. Oh, I'm walking through this. Wait, I, my Q actually hit him? What the hell? It looked like it missed. I guess it managed to barely make its way on him there. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, do I want to... I don't think I want to smite this. Because I have enough damage to kill them now. And I want to leave Smite for killing, or using on champions now, because I feel like I need to start doing that. Alright. Where's the Scuttle Crab? I don't think it's up yet. I think they have it, actually. I'm assuming they have it. No. Where is it? Where is the little Scuttle Crab? Oh, I'm walking. Dude, you need, you need to find him. He got him. If he has ultimate, he got him. Yeah. What? Wait, what? That was odd. What happened there? That was so strange. The Graves might continue farming. I'm not sure, though. Let's find out. Or he might back. Oh, he's farming. Oh, I suck. What was that? Okay, oh god, he's that nice. Okay. God, I suck at this game. I accidentally pressed uh, E instead of W. <laughs> oh my god. What am I doing with my life? Okay, I'm gonna piece out of here. Literally nothing for me to do here. Oh, that charm is really good. That charm is on point. Oh my god. Oh no, that pull. He almost got out too. He was so close to getting out, but that blitz pull completely like cock blocked him. Man, I, that was a horrible play on Graves on my end. I must say, I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like I don't play Lee Sin enough. I need to play him more. Such a fun champion, but 
Lee Sin's like one of those champions where if you don't play him for a while, like you lose so many of the mechanics required to play him, like well. You know, like to make like really nice plays or like flashy plays or very really, really quick, decisive, solid plays, just like all that kind of stuff. All right, let's say they're getting some incoming mid lane. I'm gonna actually start working towards my TMF because actually no, I wanna get my Banshee's Veil first. That's a bit more important, I feel like. Well, actually, you know what? I can actually get this and this. Might as well. And now I'll head my way to the mid lane. And hopefully we can do something. So now I have this upgraded. This doesn't upgrade my smite anymore. I feel like, yeah, it's the same mark for, you know, six seconds, bonus two damage to them on hit. You have vision of them. And they do 20% uh, reduce damage to you, which can be good to use on Ari because then she'll do less damage on me. Fiora, walking to you. This minion's following me. I really wish it would stop. Oh, he got her. Nice. It's Fiora, man, making plays. I really want to kill something, but I don't know what. Oh, the Blitzcrank. <clears throat> Alright, maybe I'll just get the walls for now. I'm probably... I don't know. Should I just use Smite on it, I guess? I'm not really sure if I should. I don't, I don't think I should, but maybe I should. Dragon's up in two minutes. See, like, Dragon now is just so huge. Like, you want him, man. You want those buffs. It's, those buffs are just huge. Especially if you get the fifth one, and then you get 16% bonus AP and AD. Just from getting Dragon. It's just enormous. Oh, God. I probably I need to get something to clear wards. I don't want to get a sweep. I don't want to get a sweep on Lee Sin. I like to have this extra ward jump on Lee Sin. It's nice. I don't think I can kill this Graves. This guy is pretty strong. Your senses. Yeah, I'm just gonna come out and farm this probably. Your team has destroyed a turret. Boom! Auto attack! Auto attack! Finish it! Auto attack! Finish it! Finish it! All right, good. I want to get blue buff. But it's warded, so they actually know when I'm going to do it. So maybe I'm not going to do it. Maybe I'll just do this instead. Alright, nice. Now the blue buff is warded, so I'm not going to do it just yet. But I'm going to head over to mid, because it looks like this Thresh is in quite the pickle. See, they can see me here, which is a little unfortunate. I'm not going to go on that. I'm just trying to scare them off right now. Okay, I don't think I should have done that. <laughs> if we win this bush, maybe they'll come out and try doing some play here. Oh god. Oh, nice timing on that. This is the Zed needs to get his ass over here. Oh god. Oh my god, Zed, please get your ass over here, bro. Okay, the Fiora and Zed are here. Come on. He has no ultimate. Okay, she's dead, she's dead. Ulti, ulti him, ulti him. Why does that keep happening? I think that's the second time Graves has killed Fiora while she's like kind of in mid ultimate. It's so strange. I don't I don't get why that's happening. She's literally like in mid ultimate and he she just dies. That's the second time now. I'm not sure why. Maybe it could be a PBE glitch. Because, I mean, it is the PBE. There's usually a lot of bugs and stuff here. But, yeah, this Graves is just absolutely dump, uh, dumpster in these games right now. I need to get a Randuin's, I think, and slow his attack speed down. Which is, I'll probably I'll probably get that after I finish my my Banshees. Or, I can actually just get this part, which I... No, I'm going to get this right now. Wait, where's Randuin's? How do you get that now? Oh, never mind. So, okay, never mind. Whoops. Can I get that just yet? Yeah, she, she should have ulted him sooner, but it's okay. I don't know, I feel like his ultimate should have went off. I don't think Graves should have been able to attack him there. That was super strange. Super duper strange. I need to get that Skull Crab. I want that Skull Crab. I want Vision of Baron, and I want Vision of Dragon, but I can't do that right now, so... I'll go ahead and just do this for now. I don't know, I'm probably not going to smite it. I can do more than enough damage to this thing. Now let's kill the Skull Crab and get Vision of Baron. It'll give us vision of Baron for 90 seconds while giving us vision or a move speed within that area, which is actually not something I care about anymore because they're a dragon and I don't want them to have dragon. Dragon is way too important to give away now. It's just such a big objective now. It's just so much more important than it was before. Do we have. Oh, they have the Skull Crab. Right. I hope this is not warded. That's warded. Yeah, he's not gonna get me. Okay, you got him. I guess that's kind of worth. I don't know. 
That Graves is just beyond strong right now though. He's absolutely monstrous. Oh, this Fiora is getting this up here. So I think that's pretty worth for a dragon, assuming they even get it. Oh, the save! That's why Kalista can be so useful. She can save teammates like that. It's so sweet. Nice save, dude. That was a really nice save. I like that a lot. Okay, so let me get my Banshees now. So this Graves is absolutely dumpstering me. I need a lot more armor. Probably the next two items I get will be both armor items. Because I just need them. This guy is easily the strongest person on their team. This Ari is also strong. See, that's the problem. Their Ari and the Graves are like almost equally strong. And they're completely opposites in damage, right? So it's like hard to build around that. So... I don't know. Well, I feel like I've built a decent amount of stuff against the Ari. Now I just need pure armor for the Graves. Because at least you can dodge Ari's skill shots or her Q and her E. So, you know, you can kind of reduce your damage indirectly like that. But Graves, you can't really. I mean, you can dodge his Q and ult, I guess. But he's more about his auto attacks. He can't really dodge his auto attacks. Not anymore. Let's see if this Fiora finds anyone. She might find someone, actually. Not anymore. Maybe getting this uh, to, uh, Hydra wasn't even the best idea. Maybe I should have just went pure tanky. We should find some. I really want to find someone in their jungle. This Graves. I cannot want. There's no way I'm 1v1 in this. That's just not happening. Oh. God. Let's be careful. Careful, careful. Nice hug. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Is Dragon up or did they get it? I think they got it, right? Yeah, it's 4 minutes and 40 seconds, so I'm assuming they got it. So I can probably insect someone. Ooh. Oh, that's great. I really want to insect someone. Uh, I don't know who I can do it on. I mean, the Ari can just ult away. Probably the Graves, but he can dash away. And getting the Graves would be hard because if he's playing smart, he should just be in the back and I shouldn't even be able to get anything on him. I don't want to get hit by that charm at all. Oof. Okay. I feel like we need to try and find them like off or catch them rather off guard. Oh, kind of like that, but the other way around. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and push this in with Fiora. Actually, if I just wait in here. I don't think they're pushing in thing because they have to go stop top, right? And if I just wait here, I can maybe bait someone to come and try 1v1 the Fjord, like the Graves, and then I'll come out and help her. Oh, I think, oh no, they're pushing in. Okay, no, they're pushing in. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We're pushing this together. Let's go. That was weird. So the Graves is trying to defend. Wow, these minions are doing so much damage to these towers. Holy. I think we can definitely get this. I have Flash. So I can insect the Graves with my Flash. Gotta be a little careful about that though. Alright, so we can definitely get this inhibitor too. Wow, nice. This is a great push. I like it a lot. What does that mean? Oh, my Hydra, right? Okay. <laughs> I forgot my. I forgot it puts it there. I'm like, why is. What is that? What does that even mean? What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, God. Okay, I'm actually gonna so. As I'm sorry. You're, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that, my friend. I'm sorry. You are just. You are effed. I'm gonna get the skull crab while I'm here. Might as well. Might as well get something here. Where are you at, skull crab? Oh my god, what is she doing here? Oh god, I suck at this game. God, stop moving! Oh my god, please! I don't know if we should do this. I really don't think we should be doing this. Because like the team's gonna come and absolutely dumpster us. Man, yo, that that's not even my fault, man. She's just too mobile. It's hard to hit that. And I had no energy, so I couldn't really do it when I really needed to use the Q. But now she was like slowed, for instance, with my E. I don't have any energy, so I couldn't use the Q and get her there. So that's just my excuse of being really bad there and really sucking a lot. Okay. Now let's get the Randuins. Randuins. Go ahead and get that. Get one ward. Alright, I might get two wards. And let's go back. Get red buff. Might as well. What the hell? Why is the 410 ribbon talking? I don't get it. I don't get it, man. 
after those jukes, I was worried. I bro, that makes you feel better about your score. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm helping you. Actually, no, for that. Okay. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All right. Go ahead and pick up these wolves, and then dragon will be up in actually 50 seconds, and I want it. I want that dragon. All right, 30 seconds left. I want to go ahead and pick up this little thing here. If that was actually his first time, then I'll congratulate him. It was a pretty good job. I mean, he definitely juked me. Ain't no question about that. Yeah, I am blind. Let's not forget that. 20 seconds left on Dragon, which I really want to get. Um, put a ward right here. So I can have vision of this area in case they try stopping me. 12 seconds. I'll, I really want to get it. I want this Dragon. I want to see how it feels like to have bonus damage to these monsters and minions. Sup, Dragon? Alright, you can relax with that. I'm not sure if I can even solo it, I'll be honest. Oh boy, I'm doing it! Guys, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I can definitely solo this. Does this still reduce my attack speed and stuff? I'm not really sure if it does actually. Or my attack damage and attack speed. Smite that, nice. Pushing power. For my team. I think they all get it, yeah, even if they're dead they still get it, that's good. So now we have... 15% bonus damage to minions and monsters. Let's test this out. Oh man, that's nice. I like it. It's not that great, but it's pretty good. <laughs> I gotta say, it's a little anticlimactic, but it's still pretty cool. Okay. Okay. I don't have any. I don't have smite right now. 25 on smites. Let's do the new Baron. Look at this Baron, guys. Look at this. Ah, man, it, they might come and... Str oh my god, if they try to stop this, I, I can't smite it. I have no smite. Come on, team. I don't have smite. 12 seconds on smite. I think we're okay, though. Yeah, we're okay. Alright, I got off my Q. My Q was the smite. Look at his death animation, too. It's really cool. And now look at our backing. Let's watch. I'll back. Look how fast it is now. Watch. One, two, three, four. Done, back. Isn't that cool? Like, that's so cool. I don't think I can get any of these yet, but I want to get plus 20 to movement, movement speed. Uh, I don't really want to sell my ward. I really want to have this ward in my inventory because, I mean, it's a ward. With Lee Sin, I mean, those are, that's the good shit. You know, you want to have wards on your inventory. Um, okay, let's see if we can maybe try finishing this game soon. Is that a split pushing, which is good. I want to see if I can stop this rhythm from back then. I guess not, whatever. This, all right, I, was, I was scared of her charm. I wasn't sure if she still had it, so I wanted to make sure I don't get hit by that. Oh, the Zed died. That's not good. Alright. Uh, see if, if their red buff is up, and if it is, I want to take it. Let's find out. It's not up. Okay. Gotta find something, though. I want something here. Um, yeah, they're using fast recall that. Alright, how much damage does it do now? 66 bonus damage per auto attack. And it's true damage too, which is really neat. On my smite, which I have... I feel like I've not been using it at all. Or at least nowhere near as much as I should be. I mean, I've been using it, but not... Oh yeah, look, look at it. it gets, look, look at these bonuses it gets now. Isn't that crazy? I'm pretty sure if I leave it, it loses it though, right? Yeah, they do. Isn't that neat? Look at these bonuses that these minions are getting. How neat is that? Like, how cool is this? I'm probably gonna die, but... At least we got to see the cool bonuses. So I'm gonna peace out before I actually die. Look, 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 that's ridiculous. That's actually pretty strong. My goodness. Oh my. That's so strong. That thing can push waves in a second. Wow. I feel like we should just group. Yeah, let's just group. I'm walking in. Let's do this. Oh, the Zed. The Zed. The Zed needs to come. Yeah, you got someone at least. I don't think I should be going on that. I'm just gonna push in bottom. You know what? I have Baron buff. Okay. 
I'm just gonna keep running. Oh, God. Don't need to do anything there. And then peace out. Get my movement speed shrine and then maybe make my way bottom. Got a thousand damage on my smite now. I feel like I can actually maybe kill Graves if I have my smite on him. It's possible. I think. Do I saw Baron? Yeah, I do. Okay, nice. Let's do this. Let's push this in, baby. If that's that was there, I think we could have fought that. But I feel like these guys kind of engaged the fight that they shouldn't have under that tower there. Um, go ahead and push this in a little bit. Oh, no. I actually scratched that. I, was, I actually want to fight this Gregs, but the Blitzcrank is right behind him, so I don't want to fight him with Blitzcrank there. Blitzcrank will cock block me pretty hard. God, that tower is so low that I want it dead. See if I can push this in a little bit, though. Nope, that's not happening. The Blitzcrank is too scary, man. The Blitzcrank is too scary. Um, God, can we get this tower somehow? I don't think we can. No, no, you're not letting us. This Graves. Oh, this is Zeddy. So be careful. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, okay, you got him. Be good. Okay, I'm not. Oh, I can actually go in there and kill that. Oh, nice. What? Okay. I think the flay made my Q miss. <laughs> Just funny. I still have my ultimate with flash, so I want to really see if I can go for that next, maybe, uh, next wave. This, which is this wave right here, actually. Nice. Get this, get this, get this. We can keep pushing this for sure. We can definitely get something here. God, my Qs, please. Until that, my Qs and insect someone. Oh, I'm dead. Actually, on the Blitzcrank. Oh, no, I'm dead. The Zed, I don't know, man. I feel like he should be fighting with us. I'm not sure why he's not fighting with us. He got the inhibitor, I guess, but he should definitely be fighting. Not really sure what he's doing there. Alright, so let's see what happens here. So, he didn't even get the inhibitor, so that's not good, actually. He did not get the inhibitor, and he is. He didn't get anything from that at all, actually, so that's not good. He should have just fought this. Instead, just. Uh, group. Please group. If he, if he groups, we can honestly just finish this game right now. Alright. Um, how can we finish? This game is lasting, I feel like, a little too long. Uh, I'm not really sure what we can do to stop it. I mean, oh man, if we just group, if we just team fight together as a five, like a full team without having someone split pushing, we can win for sure. Because like this Fiora is really strong. I'm pretty tanky, so I can absorb a lot of the damage and I can try to initiate with my uh, ward ulti thing. Okay, so it's like we got that. So now what do we have? What does that give the third one? 5% move speed. Okay, I mean, whatever. I guess that's okay. Baron's almost up though, that's good. Baron is huge, so I feel like maybe if we get the next Baron, we can do it. Alright, let's see if I can get this right here. Boom, boom. Boom, auto attack that, get this. And then, kill this Kalista. She's definitely dead. I mean, she's just overextending completely. Gonna go ahead and pick her up, hopefully. Oh yeah, she's definitely dead. Where are she, where did she go? Oh, she went forward. Interesting. Probably in this bush right here. Okay, that VR absolutely dumps her here. My god. <laughs> okay, let's push this in. Push this in. Push this in, team. Team, push this in. Okay, Zed, please. Oh my god, this Zed needs to honestly group. I don't know why he think, keeps trying to slip push right now. He's not that strong to the point where he can slip push. What is What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What was he trying to do? I don't understand. Oh my god, this game is lasting too long because of uh, weird things like that. That are not doing anything right now. I guess I'll try pushing this in while they're chasing. I'm not. That's the best I can do. I'm nothing else I can do right now. Actually, they're coming to me now. I'm gonna peace out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. I need to run. I have a lot of move speed actually with these boots, the upgraded version of them, and the Baron buff. Got quite a bit of move speed. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all that farm top lane, and hopefully that'll be enough to finish off my GA. Because I want a GA. I think GA would be really good here. I need to be as tanky as possible. I need to be able to absorb all of this damage from the enemy team. They might actually burn. Yeah, they actually might be burning. I need to go ahead and check that quickly. Right there. Got him, baby. Yo, come here! Please, please, please! Oh, the plays, baby! We got this under control, no problem. Oh, okay, and, and they surrendered. Nice! That's like the best way to end the game off right there. Just like that. No problem, but that's pretty much the new jungle, guys, on the PvE. So that's what's going to be coming out pretty soon to the live servers. Hope you learned something new. If you want me to make a video talking about these jungle changes in like a four-minute-ish kind of directly focus on it only, then I will just tell me in the chat, and I will for probably next week or something. But again, please don't forget to like it if you did enjoy it. Hope you learned something new. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope to see you next time. Peace. Okay.